So I want to wear my men's kimono. But there's one problem. It is too long. So what am I what I'm gonna do about it? Everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Yuri again from Tired to Kimono. On a rare occasion, you might actually find a kimono that is too long for you. Even if you are smaller in height, you might find this problem to occur, occur more frequently. But even if you're taller, like I am, it may occasionally happen. Now, this kimono that I'm wearing is actually 12 centimeters too long for me. And it's kind of normally impossible. Because I never really find kimono in my height that are either too expensive or hikizuri, let alone a men's kimono. So what I found is that it's not only me who faces this problem, but others as well. Now the most basic solution to kind of cope with this problem is make an oshori. Yes, even for men. Now, it won't, it won't be visible, it will be hidden underneath the obi, but it does solve all the problems. The extra and the well, the problem with the extra fabric basically. So, yeah, well, pretty much what you only need is an extra koshihimo. You will need two instead of one. But other than that, it's really simple and it solves the problem. Just, yeah, it, it just solves it. And I don't have to think about it anymore during the time that I'm wearing it. So, yeah, uh, well, like I said, just grab the, the extra koshihimo and you're good to go. So. Let's go! So the most basic way to actually solve this problem is by making a washori. Yes, for men as well. Well, it won't be a visible washori though, because we'll hide it underneath the obi at the end. So basically what you want to first want to do is raise the hem up until the correct length. Now this one is about 12 centimeters too long for me, so you want to raise it up depending on how much too long it is for you. Okay. Then grab your koshihimo and tie it at the hips. Yes, I know. I'm using a pink one. It's just because of what body I have. <laughs> and then I just loosely grab all the fabric and pull it down. Over. Over the hang on. Just making sure that all the colours are aligned correctly and then you want to tie the second koshihimo and depending on where you've tied it how much fabric you have left you want to tie it just above I hope you can see the knot here I'm gonna tie it just above here So now you basically have an hour shorty. Now if I just grab one of my obi, you will see if I tied it, it will be hidden. And that is basically what you want in men's kimono. I'm not going to tie my obi for now, but as you can see here, all the extra fabric is now gone. So that's pretty much how you actually solve the issue of having a too long kimono. So yeah, I thank you very much for watching and I hope I'll see you next time. Bye guys!